Hey guys, I'm here. Welcome back. Today, we're going to be checking out the winner of the March movie poll, and this time around, the winner is The Naked Gun from 1988, the year I was born. You know, I think the only movies that I've actually seen with Leslie Nielsen in them are the scary movies, and that's kind of it. So I'm excited to finally check out a film in which he is the lead and not just kind of like a guest star or cameo appearance. That said, let's go ahead and hop in. If you want to see the full-length reaction, you can check it out over on Patreon or if you've got a member of the channel, get you access as well. It is a watch-along format, so you will need your own footage to sync up the time codes from reaction the entire film. Over there, you get the same thing for all the other shows and movies that we cover on the channel. You also get to suggest and vote on what movies react to each month. We got monthly Q&As, behind-the-scenes footage, to try to make it worth your while since you are going to be a support channel. But guys, at the end of the day, I really appreciate it. Enjoy this reaction. At least leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're not already because it really helps these videos out. Huge shout out to the team over at Prepper for helping me edit down these highlights for you guys here on YouTube. And with that all said and out of the way, let's go ahead and hop into The Naked Gun. Here we go. Nice crotch transition. The people ripe for destruction. Cowards no longer willing to fight. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, throwing down. This kind of like Indiana Jones-esque music going on here. <laughs> He's like, hey, stop, I'm working on this. Hell? Hey, who are you? I'm Lieutenant Frank Drebin, police squad. And don't ever let me catch you guys in America. <laughs> what an opening. This completes our first shipment of heroin, 100% pure. Pick it back up. Kill him. Well, he wasn't in this long. Honestly, I'm I'm kind of surprised like a shark didn't like briefly breach as he was falling into the water. I'm afraid so, Frank. She just ran off with some guy. They got married last week. I did it for her. I did everything for her. And now she's gone. And you, you came down here to get the hot story, didn't you? Pictures of me to send you a lousy newspaper. Uh, Frank. Sure, you think I'm a big hero, the man of the hour? Well, well Frank, they're not here for you. Weird oh. Al Yankovic is on the plane. <laughs> Are you? No. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> wow. What about Nordberg? I came as soon as I heard. He's alive, Frank, though he's on oh. life support. Okay, well, there you go. 50 chance of living. Though there's only a 10% chance of that. I'll take your word for it. Ms. Nordberg, I think we can save your husband's arm. Where would you like it sent? Oh, oh, Frank, I'm so glad you came. <laughs> Hold on, rewind. What? <laughs> Where do you want his arm sent? Nordberg, it's me, Frank, your buddy. Oh! Oh, what a gag. It's me, Frank. Now, who did this to you? Uh, love you i love you too nordberg the boat the the boat was i love you drugs hey nurse quick give this man some drugs quick catch you season pain no. give him a shot quick oh god no no god no <laughs> who would do such a thing <laughs> oh, it's hard to tell be a roving gang of thugs a blackmailer an angry husband gay lover <laughs> frank get a hold of yourself <sighs> don't you worry wilma 
Your husband is going to be all right. Don't you worry about anything. It, uh. Oh, God. He's right, Wilma. But I wouldn't wait until the last minute to fill out those organ donor cards. Frank, maybe you need to get the hell out of here. I found this at home. When Nordberg said, I love you, he was telling you the name of the ship. I realize that now. <laughs> security in the hands of police squad protecting the safety of the queen is a task that's gladly accepted by police squad and seeing that this portion of the queen's american goodwill tour is and that water went right through him queen has chosen our oh the mic indeed it is for all the people good god they really do got the gain up on that boy Nicely reverberating room, too. <laughs> Whoo! Take a dinghy. No, no, I took care of that at the press conference. Doesn't make sense, you know. Good policeman, bright future. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> You familiar with that face? How about this? Yeah, I remember him. I used to see him around. Why do you want to know? I can't tell you that. Well, maybe this will help. I really don't think uh. so. Still don't think so. All right, his name is Nordberg. He's a cop. He was no cop. He was dealing H. What? I'm telling you, he was dirty. <laughs> uh. Right, all right. He worked at Ludwig Shipping. He tried to push something on one of my boys. I swear it. So what are you going to do about it, copper? Well, why should I tell you? Maybe this will help. Oh my Still God! I I tell you. Wait, is he gonna come out on top here? How about now? Oh my God, right, Jesus! I'll find out if you're telling the truth. I think he made out an extra twenty. Now I was getting ready to question him about drugs and attempted murder on his own docks. Bajah! The magnificent office you have here, Mr. Ludwig. Thank you. They are objects which I feel reflect my personality, like the Japanese fighting fish. Single-minded of purpose and deadly when it finds what it wants. Uh, this uh, particular one is valued at over $20,000. This is a rare samurai pen. Unbreakable. Impervious to everything but water. What's going to happen? It's going to flip out of his hands into that tank, isn't it? To what do I owe the honor? I'm investigating the attempted murder of one of your dock workers. Oh! Yep, there it goes. He was shot six times. Fortunately, the bullets missed every vital organ. So they were able to get him to the hospital in time. Yes, he's in the intensive care ward at Our Lady of the Worthless Miracle. Wait, Lady of the Worthless Miracle? <laughs> but as you know, I am not the kind of man who takes this type of thing lightly. And there is no room in my organization for any type of criminal. Just smack it against the thing. Five years ago. Yeah! How did, the, how did you, how? <laughs> So them as far as the eye could see. But now, of course, that land is able to generate ten times the amount of profit per square foot. Are you all right, <gasps> Lieutenant? Has this officer, um, uh, what's his name, uh, Norberg, been able to um, tell you anything? He hasn't been able to tell us a thing, but as soon as he regains uh, consciousness, we'll uh, see if he. Oh, uh, are you put the pit with your back? Mm. Ah, uh, Miss Spencer, this is Lieutenant Frank Drebin from Police Squad. Uh. <laughs> Smooth recovery. Uh, he's an intriguing fellow, this Lieutenant Drebin. Don't you think? He seems very nice. Jane, I realize this is an unusual request. But if there is something illegal going on in this company, I need to know everything about it so we can root out any wrongdoers. Be a spy. I'll do my best. That's better. I'm sure you will. What, what was that? Each one fires a single pin-sized dart that knocks out your victim for a few minutes, but does no permanent damage. Here, let me demonstrate on air. Uh, why? <laughs> Care for some tea? Yes, please. Dominique, service for two, please. 
Oh. I must oh. Kill Wait, why did she turn it on herself? I had 24 hours to come up with something that would clear my good friend's name. I decided to return to the hospital. He needs to hire a driver. He needs to stop. He is a menace to society. I must kill Nordberg. Let go of that fellow! Who <laughs> <laughs> oh. <sighs> <sighs> man Medical emergency Robert, police squad, follow that car. Let's definitely check your mirror. Signal. Oh, oh. <laughs> Dude, right next to her ear. She's gonna have tinnitus forever. Wow. Oh, where did those come from? And why was some rando just driving around with... Threes. What? Oh, God. All right, move on. Nothing to see here. Please disperse. <laughs> it was almost midnight when I got to my door, and my night was just about to begin. Spry, old man. Dude, I've done that, man. It sucks. Do you mind if I slip into something more comfortable? Oh, pff, pff. There. That's better. <laughs> I've known her for years. We used to go to all the police functions together. Oh, I loved her. Right? She had her music. I think she had her music. I don't recall her playing an instrument or being able to carry a tune, yet she was on the road 300 days out of the year. In fact, I bought her a harp for Christmas. Hmm. She asked me what it was. <laughs> Maybe we're just two lonely souls who have found each other. <laughs> I want you to know it. Practice safe sex. So do I. Oh my god. God. What the fuck? <laughs> oh man, some of these are really, really good gags. Why should be glued together or something? 20 million deposited a money bank Zurich upon proof of Queen's death. And now we have a fire. Oh God. You know, when he said he liked to get things that were, uh, that he, he oh, <laughs> oh my god these statues anyway when he was saying i only buy things that i think reflect me myself i was like so fragile <laughs> and literally he's destroyed pretty much everything in oh my god Why is it moving? <laughs> what in the world? I don't want any more trouble like you had last year on the south side. 
Understand? Well, when I see five weirdos dressed in togas stabbing a guy in the middle of the park in full view of a hundred people, I shoot the bastards. That's my policy. <laughs> that was a Shakespeare in the Park production of Julius Caesar, you moron. You killed five actors. Good ones. Your Honor. Drebin, uh, your presence at the Queen's reception tonight will not be necessary. Is that understood? <laughs> God, man. Some of these, I'm just like, how the hell do they even, like, think of them? I think there's something you should know. I was up in Vincent Ludwig's place last night. Oh, how nice. Did he show you his priceless collection of Ming vases and all those rare oil paintings? Yeah, about all that. Ludwig's involved in a number of criminal activities. Oh, Frank, stop it. Vincent Ludwig is a well-respected... Oh, my... How in the world did that happen? Well, woes. Are they back in business? I thought they closed down three years ago. Well, yeah, about that. Ah, uh, I gotta go. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, God, that cheese. Or cake? Or what the fuck? I'm sorry I can't hear you. Don't fire the gun while you're talking. <laughs> Danger, toxic waste. What the fuck was in that barrel? One room you got the queen, the other a bar mitzvah. That's a bad thing's gonna happen. Hey, uh, I didn't do anything. He's got a gun! Oh, yeah. well, how about this? Oh my god. He's got a picture of your wife. Ethel. Oh. All right. Anyone else here seeing his wife? <laughs> Frank, what's wrong? A little meeting that turned into a peekaboo session with Bullock. I don't know what you're talking about. My stockyard meeting, Butter Wings. Or don't you remember setting that up? But Mr. Ludwig said you call a meeting off. Hmm. It's true what they say, cops and women don't mix. It's like eating a spoonful of Drano. Sure, it'll clean you out, but it'll leave you hollow inside. <sighs> Too bad, sugar pup. <sighs> By the way, I faked every orgasm. What the fuck? This revolutionary war musket generously donated by Mr. Vincent Ludwig. Why would you do that? Her Royal Highness, Queen Elizabeth II. What a photo. Just think the next time I shoot someone, I could be arrested. <laughs> Frank. Jane. I've been looking all over for you. Vincent Ludwig and I, there was never anything between us. He likes East German men. What about you? I like cops. <laughs> Ludwig is planning to have someone assassinate the queen. Where? At the baseball game. He said a player's gonna do it during the seventh inning stretch. That game starts in 20 minutes. I better get down there right away. It starts in 20 minutes. To get to the seven in seventh inning, you still got plenty of time. Got to find a way to get down there in that field and search those players. Mr. Palazzo, our head usher will be here in two minutes to take you onto the field. Mr. Palazzo? Dean. I am the head usher. Ah, I'm here to help. Excuse me. <laughs> Mr. Palazzo? Yes? I'm the head usher. One second. Smooth. Nationally renowned opera star Enrico Palazzo. Oh, he's going to have to sing the anthem. <laughs> oh god he's gonna ruin his reputation is this an official bat 
He's just knocking people out left and right down there, man. Now taking the field, your California Angels. Angels in the outfield. Queen of England, ready to toss out the first ball. From there? Whoa! Aren't you actually supposed to go down and throw from the mound? This man is a master of disguise. Jesus, oh my God. Everybody's grabbing their junk and spitting. Ah! <laughs> Nothing to report so far, Chief. Don't worry, Al. All right, all set. Oh. Well. I need to see that again, but I think that was a strike. Strike? I mean, it looked like it was in the box. <laughs> Good God, man. <laughs> for the seventh inning stretch, Frank. I'm gonna have my men on the alert, but you're gonna have to stall them. Don't let them get that third out. I mean, I know what he's trying to do, but I'm just like getting swept up in the game too, I guess. There's a throw by the catcher, and now they've got Frisoni hung up between hey, first hey, and oh second. What the hell you think you're doing? Hey, you're not supposed to do that. Hey, wait a minute. Oh my god. god it's the third out. Uh oh. Oh, he's like doing these little robotic ticks. <laughs> uh, oh my god one guy's just hammering some dude's nuts does she not have her own security like this guy's not being subtle at all She turned into a doll. Leave the girl alone. I am. I'm going to kill you. I see. <laughs> Two can play a that game. Nice. Double nice. You killed him. No, no. He's just stunned. He'll be all right in a couple of minutes. Uh, oh. About that. What the? Wait. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh no. Are you serious? I must kill Frank Drebin. No, no, don't shoot. Jane. It's me. The umpire. Enrico. I finally found someone I can love. Good, clean love. Without utensils. I must kill Frank Drebin. It's a topsy-turvy world, Jane. And maybe the problems of two people don't amount to a hill of beans, but 
This is our hill. And these are our beans. <clears throat> Jane, since I met you, I noticed things that I never knew were there before. Birds singing, dew glistening on a newly formed leaf. Stoplights. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> just stoplights. They exist. I never knew. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that tracks. It's an engagement ring. I would have given it to you earlier, but I wanted to wait until we were alone. Well, whoops. This city, and I guess the whole world, owes you a debt of gratitude. Monday morning, we want you back at police squad. With a promotion to captain, of course. Mayor. But don't thank me. There's someone else here who wants to thank you. Nordberg! Hi you Hey, finally! Back on the force. Nordberg, that's wonderful. Oh no. Frank, everyone should have a friend like you. <gasps> what in the world? All right, man. That movie was hilarious. Nestle Nielsen, like his delivery all across the board was spectacular. I really vibed with this movie, dude. I really, really did. It was just so above and beyond and over the top in all of the right ways. You don't really see movies like this anymore, man. And this was just really just all around hilarious, you know? There, uh, were there a couple of ones that just made me kind of roll my eyes? Sure, but for the most part, there's some pretty good gags throughout this thing, dude. The slapstick gags, the car gags, O.J. Simpson in the hospital getting clapped around and slapped around and all kinds of arounds was fun. Like the, the timing, the deliveries, hell, the even practical setups for a lot of these gags. I mean, that last one with R Ricardo Montalban flying <laughs> off the rails there and then just getting ran over, being buried in the cement, the track, the fucking steamroller, and then the marching band. Everything in this was, it was just delightfully immature and just fun. Like, Leslie Nielsen carried the shit out of this movie, man. I really enjoyed this movie. I'll be honest, I don't know what else to say about this. I'm not gonna, like, there's not gonna be, like, some crazy analysis or breakdown of this movie that I can go into or glean into because let's just be real, the entirety of it is mostly just absurd. <laughs> but at its core, it was kind of a sweet little love story as well. But yeah, I mean, I don't know, I don't know. I had a lot of fun. This was a nice little palate cleanser for a lot of the things we've been uh, covering on the channel in the past couple of months. So it's uh, kind of all I got, I'm sorry to say. So what did you guys think? Sound off the comments. Let me know your thoughts down below. We'll carry on the conversation after the video. Hope you enjoyed the reaction. If you did, leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're not already. Remember, if you want to see the full-length reaction or you want to participate in any of the polls in the future, you can do that by joining over on our Patreon or becoming a member here on the channel as well. And speaking of before we go, I want to shout out our channel legends. Manny Share, Ryan Karen, Yori Koriska, Melita, Robert Anguiano, Jeffrey Hale, Jake Cantrell, Eric Official, Casey Wood, Russell Crockett, and Justin Smith. Thank you guys so much for continued support. But that's it for this video, guys, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care, everybody.